Now you'll remember yesterday when I was trying to get the glue out of here, I was prying on this and, and sort of broke it loose. And then I took this nail and I was going to try and poke it in this way. Well, the nail was pointed and I, re and I was realizing that what was happening is it was spreading the glue rather than pushing on it. So I think what I should do is blunt this nail. And uh, I know it's got nothing to do with making the stand or the frame for this jumbo clock, but uh, that's what I'm interested in at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take out a few minutes here and see if I can't salvage this thing. Now I'm just noticing here that it's not solid in here. See if I can sort of break it away from the sides here. Yeah. Don't want to do it too much or I'll <laughs> break the whole thing right off. I might have gone too much already. Okay. That's right, Ron. Close that knife before you cut yourself again. Hey, look at that. Well, look at that. Well, once again, to that viewer that made that suggestion, thank you very much. I'll definitely be able to reuse this now. I had no idea that the epoxy would not stick to this, the inside of this. Yeah. Now, isn't that neat? Good as new. Now, do you remember way back in November when I was all worried about the fact that maybe the dial ring would not go up the stairs and I was trying it this way and then I tried it another way and how happy I was when I realized, yes, it's going to just make it. Well, it turns out it doesn't make any difference at this point because it's not going upstairs anyway. I'm going to be assembling everything down here in the basement and I've redrawn the drawing so that everything will fit underneath the lights in the basement. Yeah. Some of these 2x4s sure are in bad shape. It'd be great if I wanted to make airplane propellers.
Well, we got a start on it. And uh, you probably noticed, I think it was the second or third cut, that the saw was grabbing a little bit. Well, what happened is the board was slightly bowed this way. And then when I cut through it, it began to flatten out and the cut itself narrowed and the blade was grabbing. And then as soon as I pulled it up and recut and made a wider curve, uh, it, uh, you know, the problem was over. Uh, but that happens. It's, you know, nothing unusual, just part of the deal. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Um, see you tomorrow.